Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So apparently yesterday I switched piles at some point. I have no idea. I didn't realize it until I went into the comment section today. There was some kind of weird mishap with two of the piles. I don't believe in accidents. I'm not sure what happened there. But anyway, um, I can see why some tarot readers turn off their comment section. Um, the amount of people that think it's okay to tell me that... You know, my personality is too distracting, and it's like, well then go find some monotone tarot reader, you know? If you don't like my style, do you really need to comment? Can't you just scroll on? Anyway. <laughs> so today I wanted to do a reading about what message you need to hear. I'm not sure how it's going to go. I'm going to use a bunch of oracle cards and some tarot, and I drew three cards from my animal, my animal deck. And I'm not sure what's going to come out. It's messages you need to hear, maybe what's coming next for you, not necessarily in love. But yeah, so for the first pile, we have this opal heart. Pile one is the opal heart. Pile two is the labradorite heart. Actually, I will pick it up and show you because I love this one. It's one of my favorites and it matches my ring. Here's the opal one. And this is tree agate for pile three. So if you need a minute, go ahead and sit with the energy and I will see you at your pile. Hello, pile one. If you chose pile one and this opal heart, this is going to be a reading about what you need to hear, maybe what's coming next for you. We'll see. I'm going to put your heart right there by my zebra. So for your oracle card, we have the golden egg. Very beautiful. So I'm going to grab my animal book. The golden egg is a very, it reminds me of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and that girl who wants the golden egg message. I'm just going to read it for you. This one, this reading is going to be a lot of me reading. Um, so if you don't like that, see you later. <laughs> don't feel the need to tell me in the comment section that you don't like me reading out of a book. <laughs> message at the center of the heart, the unstruck sound. Within the golden egg lives a precious sound. Deep within that sound resides a message. The sound cannot be heard, nor the message discerned until we retreat from the noise of modern day life. The magical essence of the golden egg needs warmth, quiet, and time to unfold. No rushing, pushing, or grasping. Find a place of deep and restful ease, perhaps through yoga or meditation, if you do not yet have a meditation practice, take some time for introspection or contemplation. When the mind begins to settle and the breath is calm, ask the question that weighs heaviest on your heart. Staying open to any response you hear. Engaging with the energy of the golden egg is an advanced practice. It requires becoming intimate with our very essence and comfortable with vulnerability. When a feeling of tenderness or gratitude arises from deep within you, know that you are well on your way. Your chest may swell like you are seeing an old friend that's been away for a long, long time. Listen to the message they've been waiting to tell you. Very beautiful. So somebody, you guys are going within, you guys are learning possibly how to appreciate your shadows, celebrate your shadows even, heal them. It could be that you've been through something very hard that now you see the point. Like you see you're able to find gratitude for whatever this journey means to you because it has been hard. But you're, this is a very spiritual card in the animal deck. So very beautiful. Let's get to your other oracle cards. So here are all your pretty, pretty oracle cards. <laughs> so. We have Cornucopia, 11. So there's a lot about probably a lot of spiritual change within you and seeing, finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, finally seeing the abundance from all your hard work. Ooh, we have the Six of Cups. This could, Six of Cups represents childhood wounding, childhood healing, it can also represent um, reconciliation or someone from your past. 
Take it as it resonates. <laughs> oh, we have the chariot. So forward movement. This is Cancer energy. That's Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Definitely you're about to move forward or you're about to, something is moving towards you. We'll see what comes out in the cards. We have focus. So there is something about you having to focus on the end goal, focus on, you know, this could have been a very long journey and especially if it's with a past person or childhood wounding. So, you know, one message I'm hearing is that you could have childhood wounds that you have kind of like that come out in the way you react to people or the way you treat yourself or the messages that you tell yourself internally. And it could be that, you know, you're at a place where or you're about to be at a place where you've been so focused on healing that now you're able to look at those things about yourself and say, well, that's not who I am. That was me operating from a place of hurt. That was me trying to protect my inner child. You know, I'm really grateful that I was able to protect my inner child and now I can let go of feeling like that's a part of me or that's who I am. Because a lot of us, when we're triggered or we're, our shadows are showing, we fear that that's who we really are, but it's, it, that's not who we really are. Have faith in your dreams. So again, this energy of something that you've worked very hard towards is about to come into fruition. Oh, I got lots of cards, didn't I? They, don't, I don't know if they're that one. I don't. Anyway, I didn't know that two of these came out. This is air spirit knowledge. So magician energy. Are we all gonna fit? We're not. Enlightenment. So here we see again. This is a very spiritual pile, and I believe that. Let's see how far I can stretch it. Yep, I got too many cards out. Maybe what I'll do is I'll take the tarot out of there. There we go. No, I want to leave you there. So yeah, we have enlightenment. Um, you could be undergoing a heart awakening with that. I'll get into it. This does equal 10, so completion of something. Definitely something that you've had to be very focused on. I feel like it's something that put you through a lot too with this mountain, lots of obstacles. We have milk and honey. Oh, look at the little elephant. Aw, very sweet. So I think what I'm gonna do, do I need to move this? Mm, maybe just angle it down just a tad. We'll leave it there. So I'm going to get some tarot cards now. Let's just push all those up. Perfect. Beautiful. And we'll have these as the end markers. There we go. All right, so let's get the tarot. So if you feel like you've been working towards something and you haven't seen the results, you know, spirit saying, have faith in your dreams. This is about to come into fruition with this cornucopia card. And I feel like it's something that truly tested your patience, especially spiritually um, with that enlightenment card. I hope you're all well today. I've been doing personal readings all day. I still have one more. All right, so I'm gonna just get a couple of more cards of this deck for more information and then we'll really get into it. So that's past energy. We're gonna go present. Sorry, that's strength and the four of cups. So 
sometimes. It really depends on my mood or my whatever, my energy. Sometimes I'm really quiet when I'm shuffling because I'm focusing and hearing things. Other times I can talk while I'm doing it. It just really depends on the day. Anyway, strength, four of cups. So Leo energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces again. We also have air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh my goodness, you have the chariot twice. This is very interesting. So we have nine of cups and the chariot for present energy. Oh my. Well, aren't you up to a lot? <laughs> this is, um, this is really interesting. Uh, for a lot of you with that six of cups, I do believe this is about a connection. Um, you know, I am a love reader, so that is ultimately what comes through for me. Um, I'm also a divine counterpart reader, so I do channel a lot of twin flame messages and people don't seem to get that. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I was just adjusting that. So, like I said, you're definitely dealing with childhood wounding or someone from your past and, you know, I do believe that you've had to be very focused, especially on your own journey. Um, if you resonate with Divine Feminine, I don't, I mean, I don't see Divine Feminine here, but if you resonate with Divine Feminine, it is very symbolic of a counterpart connection because it is one that you have to work really hard at. You have to go through different stages of enlightenment. You have to go through periods of retreat and reflection and focus at times it feels impossible and we have this have faith in your dreams so for a lot of you i feel like it is about a person especially probably a spiritual connection so soulmate or twin flame and i don't care roll your eyes i don't care um in the recent past here we do have the strength card and we have the four of cups so what that tells me as in the recent past, you did, um, you know, you could have been dealing with someone that really tested your inner strength or this journey could have really tested your inner power. And with the infinity symbol here and with this card, I talked about it yesterday. This card reminds me of Beauty and the Beast and how the Beast was acting from such an unhealed place, such a dark shadowy place. And Belle was afraid of him at first. And through time, she learned, you know, taming the beast, but she learned to unconditionally love him. So I feel like for a lot of you in the past, you had somebody that really tested your patience, pushed you to your limits. You could have had a lot of triggering moments where you really had to rely on your own inner strength. The Four of Cups energy, makes me feel like you were ready to give this person this beautiful cup of love. You were ready to explore the spiritual connection. You definitely felt with that six of cups energy here, I believe you felt a soul bond with this person and maybe an unbreakable bond if you resonate with twin flames. You don't have to be a twin flame, just disregard that. So what I see here is, you know, I feel like you really tried to show this person how much you loved them and how much they meant to you. And it's almost like this person didn't care or they didn't appreciate the love that you were showing them. They could have taken you for granted. And, you know, there could have been a period where this person pushed you away or just didn't reciprocate what you were showing them. Now, I believe that through this connection, you've not only learned not to overextend yourself to someone like that and be in that position again, but you've also learned how to turn that inward and really reflect on your own shadows 
and how you can change. Um, you're coming in very enlightened and awakened. So if you resonate with being spiritually awakened, hello. <laughs> you also have a lot of major arcana cards here. You know, you have the chariot twice. So let's go over some signs. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Aquarius. We have Scorpio. We have more Cancer. Lots of water energy in this one. Okay, so present energy. What I'm seeing, present energy is, this is coming towards you if it's not already in your present energy. It's about to be. Present energy is, can be like yesterday, it could be tomorrow. Um, we have the Nine of Cups and the Chariot. So this is showing that whatever this is that you've been working so hard towards, whatever it is, it's finally moving forward. So you would be feeling this energy soon if you're not already. Possibly you're already moving forward with your person if it is love related. I mean, I do believe it's love related. With the Six of Cups, you and this person could both have childhood wounding that really became a factor in this connection and really it could have caused conflict, which in turn was actually pushing you both to grow. Before I go any further, I kind of want to read you this book. Oh, sorry, this, this first card here. Let's have a look at it. It's interesting because I had a different reading planned out and I had all the cards, like the decks and the crystals on them. And then at the last minute, I scrapped that idea and did something different. So I hope this reading is meant for someone. You receive this card when you need to think things through. This is not the time to be impulsive. Do not react instinctively to situations and people. Take into consideration all points of view. Do your research, listen to others, speak your truth. Take time to weigh the pros and cons of a situation. It is an excellent time to begin a new venture or project. It will succeed as long as you are thoughtful, organized, and focused. There is a remarkable wellspring of wisdom within you. Take a breath, slow down, and delve into that inner knowledge. It will guide you in the right direction. So there's an energy here of you really needing to listen to your intuition about this situation, this person, however it resonates to you. Air represents wisdom, our mental activity, and our ability to reason. It is also associated with thoughts, intellect, communication, and comprehension. Through our breath, we can speak and express ourselves. Our lives begin with our first breath, so air is connected with new beginnings. The spirit of air oversees friendship, clarity, and positive focus in life. You have two cards about focus, see? Inhale, take a moment to think things through. Think as well as feel the right direction. Get clarity and become focused before stepping forth. Take care to have thoughtful communication with others. So for some of you who are about to move forward in this connection with a person from your past, to me that card talks about taking it slow. Don't rush right into it. For those of you who resonate with being in no contact and then being in like partial union or pre-union, it's a very confusing energy because there's no boundaries, there's no definition of what you are. And because, especially if you're anxious avoidant, anxious detachment, I mean, well, both. If you're anxious because of childhood wounding, either avoidant or attachment, the lack of structure, the lack of a label might make you feel even more anxious. And this card is saying like, take things slow, especially if you're reconnecting, it's not going to be this happy, happy wish fulfillment energy right away. It's not, it takes time. It takes time for the walls to come back down with each other. It takes, you know, usually you're more evolved than the other person coming in. So there's an energy of being patient. For me, this card also talks about watching your reactions because we can actually push connections away by reacting before we have a chance to actually reflect and think about it. I, I'm 
I should really follow my own advice, but something that happens to me if I hear from my person or my counterpart is I've learned how to listen to my body and whether or not I'm triggered. And if I feel triggered, I can't respond. If I feel triggered, I can't react. I have to wait until that trigger passes because a lot of those triggers are childhood wounding. Anyway, I just wanted to say that. And now I'm gonna read you 19, Forest Temple Enlightenment. You could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hello to my fellow earth people. Meditate on the light within you and around you. Connect with the ever-present energy of the divine. Right now, your awareness is increasing. See, this is magical energy. Your ability to understand the world is shifting. More and more, you can see situations from all points of view. This creates an expansion in all parts of your life. So similar to the golden egg, you could be in that energy where you can see the positive or lesson in everything. You could be grateful for the people who, you know, screwed you over to put you on the right path. <laughs> you could be, you know, as I spiritually awakened, the way I looked at other people and judged other people became very different. I used to be very judgmental. And as I awakened, um, I really, it's interesting how your perception of people really changes. And I get all the time people saying like, when they contact me for a reading, please don't judge me in my situation. And when you hit that spiritual enlightenment, you don't judge other people because you know everything happens for a reason. Anyway, more and more you can see situations from all points of view. And this creates an expansion in all parts of your life. For example, if your past person was full of triggers and deceived you and hurt you, you could be in a space where you're learning that that doesn't define somebody, or maybe that's you. Maybe you're learning that your triggers don't define you and you're learning to forgive yourself. This card can also reflect times when you are seeing the world from only your personal point of consciousness which is dramatically restricting possibilities for you. Siren, sign, you are protected. A one-sided adamant view of life can block a vast influx of light, joy, and connection to the creator. And this is exactly what I mean when I say that the people in my comment section who are negative about past people saying they'll never change, they will never change, they can never change, I will never take them back. Um, that does restrict the possibility of that person coming back. Anyway, I'm not going to go into that right now. Strict adherence to your beliefs can obstruct wonderful opportunities from flooding to your life. Be willing to step outside of your limited points of view and see the world from others' perspectives and your life will expand. I'm telling you, I've lived it. It does expand. In temples throughout the world, Initiates withdraw from their surroundings in order to gain an expanded perception of the inner reality of life. Intuition and healing abilities emerge during these times. Light is flooding into your life now. With enlightenment, you'll feel the expansion from a lim limited sense of self to an awareness of the cosmos around you. Positive changes are coming. You are lightening up, feel buoyant and free. Your connection to spirit is deepening. Old beliefs about who you are and what you deserve in life are falling away, replaced by incredible new paths. Very beautiful. Now, moving on, I want to read you. It's very interesting how these cards, how I laid them out, because I do see, I intuitively laid them out. I didn't mean to lay them out in that order, but we do see a progression. We see somebody who's had to listen to their intuition who's had to, you know, really focus on what they want, possibly have a lot of faith in their dreams here, focus. We have in spiritual enlightenment, spiritual growth, you changing. So past, present, future. In the future, we have milk and honey and cornucopia. So yeah, let's get into this future energy. For future energy, we have the star 
and we have death. So there is a rebirth here. And like I said, because of the Six of Cups, I can't help but feel for a lot of you, it is about a person. You might already be moving forward with this person or about to. But near future, we do have healing and the release of possibly the release of resentment. There's a lot of healing here. I believe that you and this person do feel very connected. And the star is also about hope. So whatever you're hoping for, whatever outcome you're hoping for, we do see it coming here in the near future. This can also symbolize you could be in the spotlight. Aquariuses can typically be um, in the spotlight. They can be creators, artists, singers, social media, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, very interesting. I'm an Aquarius moon. Hello, Aquariuses. <laughs> and it's also a message of whatever you've been holding on to, because I do believe you've been holding on to something, even if you've been in separation with that something or lost vision of that something sometimes, you never gave up hope. And that's why, you know, it's coming to you. Like I said, we can block these things from coming in by having that negative mindset that people don't change and that, you know, those thoughts create reality, I'm telling you. We also have a rebirth here. So for those of you who resonate with Twin Flames, this card to me is very represent, represents, I don't know the right, represent, I don't know the right word symbolizes yeah there we go um the twin flame journey and we see these mirrors here and we see this divine feminine awakened with all her flesh <laughs> and we see this divine masculine trying to catch up in front of the sun and i do believe that you and this person are both healing childhood wounds and have this beautiful rebirth here with each other the fact that we have the chariot twice shows me that whatever this is to you it's like spirits saying get ready because it's on like donkey kong <laughs> um i often say too about this card this can represent this can represent not only within a connection but within ourselves our shadow and our light aspects and until they're balanced we kind of go off course so if you're being led by your shadows you know to me you'd be on a path of you'd be pulling this way and spirit would be like wait a minute you're not supposed to go that way i'm going to put towers in front of you so this is really an energy of balance for forward movement if you do resonate with a past person you know it can take a while for a divine feminine and a divine masculine yin yang to be on the same wavelength and until they are the connection can't move forward because if the feminine is healing quickly which usually feminines heal faster it pulls it pulls the masculine off course and if the masculine is drowning in their shadows and they're going this way it pulls it blocks the connection so until you're both at a place where you can move forward on the same energetic field, the connection can't move forward. So the fact that you have two cards about forward movement should, you know, be very symbolic of forward movement for the two of you. Now let's read this milk and honey. Fifty-one. I'm going to read a few of these messages. The taste of prosperity, opportunities born of authenticity, nurturing abundance, trusting that your needs will be met. See, thoughts become reality. You've entered a sweet time in your life, enjoying the land of milk and honey. And this is near future, guys. That everyone wants to experience. It's an interlude that feels more languid than ambitious when all your senses are awakened to the unlimited unlimited possibilities of the universe these times are precious and only come when you're in your authentic zone 
wearing the world as a loose garment, not wanting yet able to be nourished in both tangible in ways both tangible and subtle. Abundance is an energy that you are a living part of. All of your needs are being met. You are being given the gift of nourishment in every form. This is the relationship message. Sensuality, connection, and passionate romance between lovers, sweet moments of understanding and love among friends and family are all here for you to savor now. Your heart's calling will be answered. Let your thoughts and feelings be sweet with gratitude and you will be nourished with the honey of abundance. So believe in this, believe in your dreams, believe in what you want and it will come into fruition. Our thoughts become reality. That's what manifestation is. Don't let go of that hope. <laughs> I have a tattoo on my arm. There's always hope. I don't know if I have any Lord of the Rings fans here, but it's from Lord of the Rings. You can see... You can see the Lord of the Rings, you know, type of text there. Anyway. Yeah, I'm a dork. <laughs> I'm a nerd. I'm not ashamed. Now let's read you Cornucopia. 11, so twin flamies. An abundant harvest and great blessings are waiting for you, and you may even find all of your wishes fulfilled. There's a lot in here about all of your wishes being fulfilled, which is amazing. This cornucopia of gifts from the universe can come in the form of financial riches, job fulfillment, romantic love, or all of the above. When you receive the cornucopia, you know that you've done the important work and it's about to pay off. The seeds you've planted in your energy and in your life are ready to be harvested in some significant ways. Get ready for a great feast of abundant value is being prepared for you now. And spirit is applauding all of your effort. That's beautiful. There was another card that talked about abundance. It might have been that one. Or was it that one? It was that one. So there is a lot about dreams coming true, hopes, and wishes being fulfilled. So whatever that means to you, that's what's coming for you. I hope that made sense. I never know if these things are going to make sense. And then I let those pesky people in my comment section get into my brain. I don't like it. Anyway, that's your reading. I'm going to leave it here. That's, you know, I don't have any charms or letters and I'm sad. <laughs> but thank you for joining me for another reading. And I do still have space available for private readings in the next week. So a bunch of you messaged me and booked in for Thursday, which is very exciting. I can't wait to spend the whole day doing them. <laughs> anyway, I'm sending you guys lots of love and light. Bye. Hello, Pile 2. If you chose Pile 2 and this beautiful Labradorite heart, oh my gosh, I just love it so much. I've always loved, like, stones that you have to like move to see the beauty in them. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, I used to be obsessed with the movie My Girl and I loved her ring. So when I saw this Labradorite ring, I bought it for myself. But anyway, that's not the point. <laughs> Hello, I love you, <laughs> Pile 2. I haven't messed you up today, I hope. So yes, if you chose Pile 2, this is going to be your reading. I'm leaving it open. Probably love will seep in because I am a love reader. Probably some of you, there might be twin flame messages that will seep in. So starting off, we do have the B. Very interesting. You could be very busy right now. Um, this energy is kind of, or sorry, this reading is just, I'm leaving it open. What do you need to hear? I have a whole bunch of oracles, a whole mess of them. Look at all these bad boys. <laughs> and then I'll get tarot. Um... And then we'll just see what what you need to know. So we have 39 fifth chakra Archangel Gabriel. Ooh, we have the High Priestess. I'm gonna leave this here to see if I have room because pile one, I didn't have room for all the cards. Ooh, we have Eight of Cups. We have transformation. Very interesting. We have a time for healing. 
We have Renewal. Oh, you had two of these cards. We have 20, Imagine, and Between Worlds. Very interesting. So let's just see. I want to leave. Let's see. Are all those in there? So exactly the same as pile one. I'm going to have to put these two tarot cards in the bottom. So I am going to read from some of the books. So if you don't like reading, bye. <laughs> I had someone once be like, I don't like it when tarot readers read from the book. It's like, well, we're still learning too, you know? <laughs> Actually, I'm going to do this. That feels better. Okay, so right away, <laughs> I'm getting that you've walked away from something, whether that's a job, whether that's a person. I think it's a person, but that's just because I'm a love reader, and that's what I channel. Um, I do believe that you walked away from something here, though, with the Eight of Cups. So we, ha we have some water energy here. And, you know, I feel like it was something that you cared about that you walked away from. But I believe that you felt like it was your best option. We do see this person walking away from this cup that's full of fire. So you definitely still had feelings for whatever this was. Again, I think it's a person. <laughs> and I feel like you weren't getting what you needed. So you had to walk away and you had to focus on yourself and you had to walk towards this brighter future. I find it very interesting how these two cards are very similar. It's almost like, I feel like right now you're in between worlds. You're in between the past and you're in, be you're in between the past and the future. And maybe you don't know, maybe you're confused about what's coming, but anyway, we'll get into it. Um, I often describe this card, it can be, I'm going to read from the card because sometimes intuitive interpretations are very different from the card as well, but it is a number three. So for a lot of you, I feel like I am dealing with someone who's an empress, divine feminine, maybe who, you know, something wasn't working. And I do believe it was a connection. It wasn't working. And even though you love this person, you had to walk away because it wasn't going anywhere. You weren't, you weren't moving forward with this person. And because you felt stuck in between past and future, you had to do something to put yourself first. And I believe that was to embody Empress energy, to focus on yourself and yeah. I really love this bright, vibrant energy, the crown, the celebration. You know, I believe that whatever you walked away from, I, I, I can't help but feel like it is a connection that had to go through some kind of change in order for there to be movement, in order for them to be healing, transformation. For all of the piles, I intuitively laid out the cards. Um, I just did it right in front of you. I didn't mean to put them where I did. I just did. And I do see kind of a story here. We see clearly something in your life wasn't working. Again, I think it's a connection. <laughs> and you had to walk away from it because you needed to heal. It's possible that you experienced a lot of hurt in this connection, a lot of triggers, and you had to focus on yourself. Um, before I go any further, I want to get some tarot for you. I I went right into it, didn't I? So for a lot of you, I felt like you had to put yourself first and work on yourself. Um, we have air here, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Empress Energy, which is Taurus. What 
is this upright? Hmm. That's interesting. That's from pile one. That's interesting. I don't believe in accidents. So I don't believe in accidents. I believe that this is about a past person. I don't believe in accidents. I don't anymore. I used to, but to me, that's a sign that, that you are dealing with a, someone you're in a soul connection with. So very interesting. I, I have no room for you, but I love you, Six of Cups. <laughs> so we have a King of Wands. So you could be dealing with a King of Wands or you could be a fire sign. Um, I'm getting the sense that you're taking control of your life. You, This is an energy of taking control, taking action. And I feel like something wasn't working here and you knew that it needed to heal. And the only thing you could do is let go and focus on yourself and walk away. So let's get some energy here or some cards here. see how far I can push that eight of cups. So in your past energy, first of all, we have a, the king of cups and the queen of wands. So you could be dealing with Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or you could be, or you could be, or dealing with a fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh my goodness. It took me a minute. I'm autistic, so I have scripts, and the way I remember them is weird, um, and if I don't say them in the right order, I can't say them anyway. <laughs> so we have 6-6 six, six here in the near future, and death and rebirth. Very interesting. So yeah, we have King of Cups, Queen of Wands, Five of Pentacles is Taurus energy, or Earth energy, but really it's Taurus energy. Um, we have the Moon which is Pisces. We have the Nine of Swords, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have more Earth, Fire, Scorpio. All right. So this is past to near future. So in the past, I do believe that you were dealing with someone that you had a lot of deep emotion for. This person could have been very charismatic. They could have been very loving towards you, very generous. Um, I am gonna grab my book because it is about, a, this reading is about a person. And I just wanna get an idea of who you might, for just for confirmation for you. So in the shadow, you could resonate. This is very interesting. Okay, so in the past, for some of you, not for all of you, if you know there wasn't a third party or you don't know, um, just this is not your message. This is only for those of you who know there was a third party, okay? Because this is past energy. We have the King of Cups and the Queen of Wands. So for some of you right away, I was feeling there could have been a third party. There could have been a karmic here that came in, this Queen of Wands energy. That's not for all of you. And the King of Cups is someone who's, you know, very generous, very emotionally balanced. You have deep emotion for them. They have deep emotion for you. It's a very loving energy. But in the reverse, in the shadow, it can talk about manipulation and it can talk about deceit. Um, it can talk about someone who's selfish, someone who doesn't put in effort, someone who you feel like you're being led on by. And I'm not sure if that resonates with you. That's the energy that's coming up here. 
So I do believe that because of that, there could have been a third party, there could have been some deceit here, leaving you feeling very rejected and very isolated from this person. And I feel like at that point you had no, you had no other option than to walk away and say, enough is enough, I need to focus on myself. Um, for others of you, and I'm not trying to confuse you, people say that I, I'm trying to confuse, and that's not what it is. It's that when tarot readers do general readings, we get many messages for different collectives. And we have to kind of decipher between it, each situation. So for some of you, I feel like this person could have been very selfish. Maybe there wasn't a third party. And this person could have been very selfish and you could have felt led on by them and you could have, to me, this is also an energy if there wasn't a third party, the queen of wands is someone who stands in their power. They're very passionate, full of fire, very creative, very confident. They know their worth. And I believe that whatever happened between you and this person, when you walked away, you could have experienced a bit of a glow up with that queen of wands energy, leaving that person feeling cold and rejected and isolated. And I mean, even, even when we embody Empress energy and we put ourselves first and we walk away, it doesn't mean that we're happy about it. We also feel like that. We also feel the void in our life, right? I'm just looking up this B card before I go any further. So, yeah, this is an energy of working on yourself. It's an energy of... I feel like for a lot of you, you did walk away from someone and especially if you're a divine feminine, what happens when you step into your power and you walk away, you start glowing, you start, you start appearing very vibrant and that's what this card is about. It's about you working on yourself and people noticing. It's, you start exuding an energy that people want to be around. Now for the Imagine card, let's have a look at that. Turning Imagine into Manifestation, Creative Thought, visualize, Visualization, the Power of Aligning Imagery and Feelings, Creativity, Illusions. So it feels to me that you're trying to figure out your purpose, especially maybe within this connection. You could be wondering like, why am I, why does, why is this person in my life? Why do I still feel their energy? Why even after I walked away? It's, it's an energy of questioning. This card also reminds me of the star card um, because we have that person holding on. I mean, it's the moon, but we have the person holding on. They have, oh, I didn't even, guys, this is interesting because I was saying it reminds me of hope holding on to hope, the star card. But I'm looking at this image and this image is actually mirrored. This is mirrored. And if you look down here, we have two flames. So if you resonate with twin flame, insert eye roll. Yeah. <laughs> if you resonate with twin flame, I'm sorry about the beeping. There's a crane outside. Um, could have been a lot of distractions in your connection. A lot of upheavals. Um, yeah, if you resonate with Twin Flames, we do have two flames here. This is a mirrored image. We do have this person holding on to the moon. And what is the moon? The Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine! And who do we see kind of in the shadow of that moon, not fully enlightened? The Divine Masculine, the sun. So that's very interesting energy. Um, for a lot of you, I do believe that you had to choose yourself and walk away and it's empowered you. Who do you want to be? What do you believe in in order to have the life you want? You were gifted with the power to imagine. If you can dream it, you can create it. This is the time when your imagination is the key to manifesting the life you desire. Spend time daydreaming, fashioning a vision board to help you see your goals or meditating. 
Allow the power of your creativity to deliver images of what feeds your soul. Then allow your feelings to mingle with your inspirations and imagine these things being real right now. Then repeat what you imagine will become your belief. And soon you will see these things come to pass in the outer world as if by magic. Very interesting. Very beautiful. So I feel like now that you're focusing on yourself, this is also an opportunity for you to listen to your intuition, especially if you're a divine feminine, about what it is that you want to be doing. Um, there's a lot here about listening to intuition. And if you are a divine feminine, it's possible. We do have the high priestess card here. And kind of this card talks about who are you? Like, what do you want in life? What are you meant to do? And for a lot of twin flames, they do have some kind of mission. So you could be a light worker. You could be a high priestess. And in walking away from this person, trusting your intuition, you have enlightened yourself. You have probably gained even more magical powers no <laughs> i don't know why i said it like that um for me every time i experienced changing a cycle breaking a pattern something like that even walking away you go through spiritual enlightenment or your your ability to intuitively receive downloads heightens um the way that i can describe it is after i closed out a pattern after I completed a cycle, I would put down tarot cards for myself and the messages that I got for them were more intense than the day before. It was like I could read them way, like I could read them easier. So in that sense, you know, you need to decide what you want because I feel like in this B energy, especially where you're in Empress energy, not chasing, focusing on yourself, um, you can, you're a master manifester right now. The doors are open for you to manifest abundance into your life. I do feel like whoever this was in your past did really put you through it. I believe that you experienced a lot of anxiety, a lot of sleepless nights. And perhaps, you know, perhaps you still think of this person I believe this person still thinks about you. You know, for me, this message is more about you, not them. And I do see, you know, at the end of your reading, we have two sixes and sixes represent union, harmony, especially the six of pentacles. And actually we had the six of cups wanting to come out too. Six, six, six could be relevant. Um, I do see you know, the rebirth of a connection. I'm not sure when that is. We do see the successful rebirth of a connection. Um, you could worry about this. You could worry that you did the wrong thing by walking away. And I'm here to tell you that you didn't. Um, it was the best thing you could have done for yourself to really listen to your intuition. And it's caused this amazing transformation, not only Look at the similarity in those colors. That's beautiful. Um, not only in your life, but in the life of this person that you have this, this very strong soul bond with, whoever this is to you. You and this person could have childhood wounds with that six of cups energy. Um, yeah, so transformation. So moving on in the near future, we do have the six of pentacles we have the six of wands so at first before we get into that energy i do want to peek at that card 39 39 reduces to 12 i can do math <laughs> And 12 reduces to three, which is the number of the Empress. Beautiful. Lots of Empress energy. I love it. 
self-expression and speaking your truth. It's on page one, two, three. That's a sign right there that you were on the right path. Spirit saying, go you, go pile two, you're on the right path. This card also reminds me of communication. So, you know, possibly incoming communication, but this is really about speaking your authentic truth. Maybe you queens of swords them. <laughs> Maybe you stood in your authentic truth and went whoosh. <laughs> Gabriel holds his trumpet and in one hand, a beautiful orb of blue, his trumpet in one hand and a beautiful orb of blue light in the other. He is sending you powerful energy to your throat center, acknowledging your power to communicate and your readiness to do so. This angel opens you up to a truthful expression, both with yourself and others. So there's this energy of you in the future being able to be truthful not only with yourself but with your person um it's interesting some of you may find that you have problems communicating that is something that you can heal um i had huge problems communicating all my life and i know i've talked about it in other piles and people think it's funny that i say that i have problems communicating because i can talk in tarot for hours, but that's only a recent thing. Um, and it wasn't until I stood in my authentic truth and, you know, imagined what I could be doing with my life. What is my sole purpose? I started exploring it. I walked away from the twin flame connection, focused on myself rather than focusing on it. Every time my counterpart came back into my life, I completely abandoned tarot. It was like, oh, they're here. I don't need tarot anymore. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> I believe in continuing to watch it. Um, I still watch tarot. Um, but anyway, once I stood in my authentic truth, realized what I wanted, started working towards it, I, I really did. That communication block was gone for me. Now, I still struggle in my counterpart connection with communication, but that's, you know, that's, you never stop healing. Okay. Anyway. He is sending powerful energy to your throat center, acknowledging your power to communicate and your readiness to do so. This angel opens you up to truthful expression, both with yourself and others. You may have had trouble with expressing emotions and ideas in the past, but Gabriel is here to tell you that your soul longs to take this leap now. Be aware that true communication includes how you speak to yourself, so never deny your profound integral, integral value integral i don't know <laughs> speak up for yourself write your journal let your words flow yes right it is such an amazing thing to journal because it actually works as, it's almost like manifesting it also releases that energy into the universe which i really do believe in the power of spoken word um until you whisper it out loud or say it to someone, I don't believe that seed can plant. And I truly believe that. Now is the time to express yourself freely and fully and the universe always honors your choice to do so. This card could also indicate that a communication project is coming or a time of heightened communication with spirit and telepathy with others. Beautiful. All right. So, you know, we see this progression in the cards here. Like I said, I intuitively put them down. So it's interesting how they, uh, how they progressed here. At the end, we have death, rebirth, and renewal. So that's very symbolic to me of whatever that means to you, whether it's a rebirth with someone new, if that's what you want, if that's what your higher self wants and is guiding you to. Or it's a very important renewal with somebody else. Um, this card, this renewal card, is very beautiful because it talks about the stages of transformation. And we all go through stages of transformation. Nobody's perfect and we all still have growing to do. And the princess and the frog could be significant because we do have this frog prince here. So you could be dealing with someone who needed to grow in order to match your energy to match that empress high priestess energy that's some serious energy oh i opened right up to it amazing frogs could be relevant 
So I'm gonna, I'm gonna read you the whole thing. The frog's three stages of development, egg, tadpole, fully formed amphibian, symbolize renewal, resurrection, and transformation. This card speaks of a profound restoration in your life that is occurring. It's never too late to begin again. If your past was less than successful, remember this. What has occurred does not need to mandate what will occur. You can start out fresh and new. However, if you do what you have always done, you will get what you've always gotten. Okay, guys, I had I had a conversation. It was a one-sided conversation with someone I believe is in my soul tribe where I said, we do need to, we need to change the way, especially if it's a counterpart or we're, you know, attracting the same type of person all the time. We really do need to look at our own, what we're doing as a reaction, what we're doing. You know, it says right here, if you do what you've always done, you will get what you, you've always gotten. So for an example, I'm just throwing this out there. For an example, if you are a divine feminine who is waiting for their divine masculine to make contact, when this divine masculine makes contact, if they repeat a pattern and you do what you've always done, for example, I'll use me. <laughs> you know, my person lets me down, my counterpart lets me down, and instead of approaching it a different way, I did what I always do, and I was cold, queen of swords, limited communication, little bit of a chip on my shoulder. And do you know how long it took me to realize that every time they tried to fix things and communicate with me, I was doing the same thing and wondering why I was not seeing results? It was because I had a giant chip on my shoulder. And anyway, I already feel like you're already reflecting inward, but I just wanted to bring that up. If you do what you've always done, you will get what you've always gotten. In order to reboot your life, you need to do things in a different way. Abounding good luck is activated and waiting for you. Reflect on the varying symbolism of the frog in different cultural traditions and see if any meanings resonate for you at this time. In ancient Egypt, the frog symbolized birth and rebirth. In certain Native American traditions, frog medicine, frog medicine is healing by virtue of its transformative life. Ancient Celts believed frogs represented healing because of the connection with water and the way that it transforms from a tadpole to an adult. In China, the frog is a powerful symbol of prosperity, healthy childbirth, and good luck. The spirit of the frog says, be willing to release any preconceived notions of how life should unfold. This is the time to be adaptable, be willing to change, abundance and good fortune will follow. So, you know, not only do I think your person needed to change, but you needed to change as well. Maybe you needed to give yourself more self-love. Maybe you needed to learn how to give, to put yourself first. With this King of Cups, you could have been dealing with someone who put themselves first and maybe you didn't understand. Maybe you looked at it. Maybe you were raised not to put yourself first. And maybe that was part of your lesson here. Guys, this is also on page 75, which reduces to 12, which is a three empress. I'm telling you. All right. So near future, we do see the death and rebirth card here. We do have balance coming in here. So if, if you want balance in your life, um, financially, that's what's coming. If you want balance within a new connection, that's what's coming. If you're hoping for this past person, I feel like this person has transformed because why? Because you did the hard part and walked away. And do you know how hard it is to walk away from something you care about and love? You feel like it's almost like letting go of a kite and trusting that it'll come back, right? That's how I feel. It's like letting go of a kite and hoping that it comes back. That's how it feels. And you do have success here in the future. You know, for some of you who, for some of you who want to be a light worker, um, you have success here. You could be this six of wands does represent 
Um, it can represent being in the spotlight on social media, being seen, being celebrated. On some cards, the Six of Wands also has marriage, just saying. Um, so you could have not only a new beginning with this person, if that's how you're resonating, you could have a new start in your career as a high priestess in the spotlight, people drawn to you. Very beautiful energy. And as someone who's a divine feminine on the high priestess journey, um, I've experienced this entire thing right to this point. Um, you know, I, I'm about to quit my photography job and focus on my spirituality and my helping others. So very beautiful. You could have a very similar outcome here. So pile two, that's, that's what I see for you. And I hope that it resonated. I hope that it wasn't too yucky hearing about a past person. That seems to be, you know, I whispered out loud or I said to someone once, it's interesting. I said to someone once, my best friend, because I was reading tarot and I was getting crazy messages. And I said, I swear, if my counterpart comes back, like these cards are saying, I will be a tarot reader. Counterpart comes back. What did I do? Didn't look at the tarot anymore. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know what my point was there. <laughs> So pile two, that is going to be your reading. I'm st oh my gosh, the counter, when I looked up, it's on three, well, it's about to be three, 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 three. There you go, very interesting, threes could be important. So yeah, I am gonna leave it here. I am sending you so much love and light. I hope it resonated. I never know if these are gonna resonate. So it's always fun to see your responses in my comment section, I love it. And I just love all of you, you guys are so amazing. You don't know how much happiness you bring to my life. It's it's truly like hanging out with my friends. It's amazing. Um, I don't have a lot of friends, so this is nice for me. <laughs> anyway, as always, I am sending you so much love and light. Bye. Hello, pile three, and welcome to your reading. If you chose the tree agate and pile three, this is going to be a reading for my threes. <laughs> Oh, look, we have the dolphin. That's amazing. I don't see this card a lot. And dolphin, the dolphin represents happiness. So before we even get into anything, I want to look at what this card is. Um, this is just, this is meant to be a message about what you need to hear. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Both other piles are about love. I can't help it, you guys. I can't help what I channel. And I know that those of you who channel understand what I mean. All right, we have innately intelligent, healer, light, blessings. The gifts of the dolphin are beyond what our human mind can grasp. Dolphin personalities are often drawn to the healing arts as they are sensitive to the subtle and enjoy working on the level of spirit. Do I have a high priestess here with me, pile three? Are you my soul family? <laughs> I wanted to say soul sister, but gender doesn't really, anyway. Um, it's easy for dolphin types to underestimate the impact they make on the world. These creatures play such an important role in the wheel of karma that coming in contact with the dolphin type will change the entire course of your day and thus your life. This card can also indicate a profound blessing is on the way. Ooh, active healer, strong spiritual practice when out of balance underestimates their own power man do i ever resonate with that card <laughs> i do i resonate with that card that's very interesting so you could be a healer so let's look at your um we're gonna get tarot but let's look at all of these beautiful oracle cards we have for you whoops so we have four happy family oh my gosh there's so much about happiness we have Ten of Cups. <laughs> so guys, this is um, very Ten of Cups-ish. And this is also, to me, it does represent, to me, Four of Wands. So you could represent with that. This is definitely a happy pile. We have the Moon. Actually, I'm going to bring these down because for the other piles, I didn't have enough room for these two. So we'll see what happens. We have Illumination. 
expect powerful change. Very interesting. We have round and round in reverse. No, I want that there. People wonder why I do this with the cards. I'm intuitively placing them. So right away I'm seeing that some kind of cycle that you've been stuck in is moving forward. We have Dragonfly Spirit change. So there's change happening. 12 reduces to three, um, which is Empress Energy, Divine Feminine. And very interesting, we do have the moon here, Divine Feminine Energy. Um, I feel like some kind of stuck, stuckle. <laughs> I love when my brain mashes two words together. A stuckle is a cycle that you're stuck in. <laughs> That's Kelly terminology, a stuckle. <laughs> anyway, um, it's clear to me that a cycle that you've been stuck in <laughs> with a person, I'm saying, I'm, I can't help it, with someone because we do have the Ten of Cups here, um, has released or opened up. And, you know, you're at the, we see the, the light at the end of the tunnel here. We see the happy ending coming in. It's possible that you could have felt, or you could still feel very in the dark about what's going on. We do have change and we have the moon. It's interesting because this card does talk about things happening beneath the surface that you can't see, as does this moon card. Um, I do believe that you've been listening to your intuition about whatever this is to you and that you're illuminated about this, what I believe is a connection because we do have happy family. Now, for those of you, where does this cut off there? I still have more room. I can shove these over. So yeah, for some of you, the four of, or sorry, the happy family card can actually represent you meeting someone that already has children. So you have like a ready-made family or an instant family. I don't mean to um, um, make that seem cold. That's not what I mean. Um, but you get the idea. You meet someone that already has children. I need this to be even. All right, so I'm gonna get tarot and then we can have a better idea of what's going on here. Because, you know, looking at these cards, it could be anything. I'm gonna get into the tarot to see what it's really about. So we just talked about you feeling confused about something and we do have this card about confusion. So again, right now or in the, the distant past, which could be as soon as, as little as yesterday, um, you could have been feeling very confused about this or in the dark about whatever this is to you but we do see illumination we see change and clarity and happy ending so let's see what is that about now that happened in pile i don't understand what's going on this happened in pile two there was a light sears card in this deck from pile one I used this deck for pile two, and now I have this other card from pile one in it. It was not in the deck the last, I don't understand what's going on. I don't believe in coincidences though. We have the chariot. So this, whatever this is, it's coming in fast. You could already be moving towards um, this happy ending here. That's interesting. That happened in pile two as well. I don't believe in accidents. Oh my God, are you kidding me? That's double confirmation for you. That's crazy. That's crazy business. I love synchronicities like that. They're magical. All right. Nope, need to cut it. All right, 
So spirit, what do we have happening here? Let's look at recent past. We have the King of Wands. <laughs> That's interesting. We have the King of Wands, we have the World, and we have the Queen of Cups. So right away, <laughs> this is why I said I wanted to see the tarot cards. Right away, I'm getting, you're dealing with possibly a fire sign, possibly a water sign. We have Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Earth, Cancer, blah, 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 blah. Cancer Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, <laughs> Cancer, Scorpio, lots of water, <laughs> Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Anyway, um, what I'm seeing in the past is that you were stuck in a cycle with somebody. This person could have been very controlling. Let me grab my book. Um, I'm going to read to you the shadows. I do believe that in the recent past here, you were dealing with someone who... There could have been a lot of triggers. There could have been a, a lot of self-sabotage. This person could have been stuck in the cycle or you two could have been stuck in the cycle of self-sabotage with each other. So King of, King of Wands. So this person, natural born capable leader looks forward to all sorts of different challenges, whether great or small, gets an adrenaline rush for solving problems, energetic, charismatic lover taking the lead in love. So this could be sounding familiar. In the shadow, this would be somebody who possibly had control issues within the relationship. They could have been very arrogant, very um, full of themselves, cocky, whatever word you want to use. This can also talk about someone who's a forceful lover. So take that as it resonates. I do believe that you and this person were stuck in a cycle together. And in the near future, we do see this cycle becoming unstuck. Um, with the Queen of Cups, I believe that you showed this person. I feel like you're a really loving person, especially with this dolphin energy. There's something about your energy that is very happy and powerful and people could look up to you or people could feel happy in your energy you could exude light especially if you're an empress you could be like shining your light all over people <laughs> you could have been at a distance um, from this person as well with the world card this can represent being at a distance um, from someone or having an online connection now I do want to read to you this change card no I want to get the rest of the cards. I have the Emperor on the bottom, and I was hearing that present energy, we have the nine of pentacles. So to me, that is, you know, it is that energy, the same energy as the dolphin. It's an empowered energy. I feel like with the queen of cups, you could have overgave to this person when they didn't deserve it. Um, because the queen of cups can be someone who overgives in a connection to the point where it almost feels to the masculine or the other person like they're demanding too much because they're giving so much only take that as it resonates i'm not here to judge i've embodied that um current energy we do have the nine of pentacles so you could be single right now or really focusing on your own pentacles and it's the nine of pentacles is like the mini empress and you know, what happens when we are illuminated and we go through a spiritual awakening and we put ourselves first and we change is that we start to glow. So similar, like similar to the dolphin energy, I feel like you're probably glowing right now. And, you know, you could be starting something new here right now. For a lot of you, I feel like 
because I have been seeing the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine take it as it resonates. For a lot of you, there could be a person in your energy who is really noticing this change in you. You know, I feel like it could be this one, the King of Wands, the person from your past. Um, the person that you were stuck in a cycle with. And I believe that by focusing on yourself and grounding yourself in your own energy, that it has caused a breakthrough with this person. This is current energy. Now we have divine counterparts. Come on. Now we have divine counterparts. So I do want to say I am getting a couple different messages here. And like I said, for pile two, I think. What people don't understand is this is a general reading and as a tarot reader, as someone who channels, I know that whoever does that, that's watching this, whoever is a tarot reader will understand what I mean. This is a general reading. So I'm going to be getting messages for different types of situations. So for the, for the first situation, what I'm seeing is that in the past you were dealing with this king of wands you were stuck in a cycle with them and because you have focused on yourself because you've broken the cycle perhaps this person you know was the type of person that you always attracted so it was almost like repeating history you were getting the same person over and over again and spirit was trying to get you to break that cycle within yourself so for some of you like I said, I'm getting that past energy, but for a select other few, I'm getting that once you stopped over giving to the people who weren't worthy of it, you did experience, you broke that cycle and you experienced a change and you changed the way you were approaching things. and. I feel like that's entered, sorry, opened up your energy for someone new to enter your life. If you're looking for someone new, we do have the breaking of a cycle. So that doesn't have to mean a cycle that you were stuck in with an old person. If you're, you know, if you don't want your ex back and you want new love, this can represent, especially because the reason I'm saying that is because I just saw the King of Cups. So for some of you, you broke the cycle with this King of Wands and now we have, you know, we have this King of Cups coming in ready to honor you, ready to show you love. This person could have children with the happy family card. I feel like this is someone that's going to make you very happy. Someone who's going to have very deep emotions for you. For some of you, you could have finally got rid of a karmic partner the way that we have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups does represent divine counterparts. So this could be you, you could have had some kind of spiritual elevation where you're pulling in your counterparts energy and that's not this past person if you don't want that past person. I'm saying that by breaking that pattern, spirit could be releasing your counterpart to you and that's who you could be meeting here in the near future coming in. But if you resonate with the old person, I feel like this person is watching you glow up, watching you put yourself first, fill your own cup up, you're glowing, you're radiating happiness, or they think you're radiating, radiating, radiating happiness. You know how sometimes you're glowing and you don't even know it? People are like, wow, you look really good today. And you're like, really? I feel like crap. <laughs> Um, it's an energetic thing. So I feel like this old person is drawn to your energy here and has had a breakthrough about how they treated you in the past and about the cycle that you've been stuck in. I feel like this person still feels very attached to you. Again, we have divine masculine here. So I feel like the more you focus on yourself, the more the energy changes with this past person, with this divine masculine, if that's how you're resonating with it. And they want to take action towards you here. This person could be watching you online right now. Oh, we have the Knight of Cups. So yeah, that's... Um, <laughs> ooh. Look what just wanted to be seen. 
happiest card in the deck wanted to come out. You know what? I'm going to take it. it. came out for a reason. And I have extra room, so why not? Can we see the moon? Yes, we can. Move over. Move over. Did you guys ever hear the song? The, ugh, I feel like an idiot. The way that I'm saying move over to these cards, there's a song, there were five in the bed and the little one said, move over. Do you guys? And no, maybe not. <laughs> so near future, we have the Knight of Cups and we have Divine Masculine, the sun. Look at that on either end. We have the moon and the sun. Very, very symbolic here. I love that. Um, so yeah, what I'm seeing here, near future, you do have somebody coming towards you. This is a water sign. Doesn't have to be. You have somebody coming towards you here with an emotional declaration or sharing this cup of emotions with you. Again, this could be a new person. Um, it doesn't have to be the old person if that's not how it's resonating. I know it's confusing for some of you when I switch back and forth between storylines, but like I said, I see two different I see two different stories here. So that's why I'm trying to cover both. It's like two readings in one. Um, you know, some of my favorite readers read like that. Um, Kino Tarot, Kino Tarot, um, Esso Tarot. It sounds so weird to say them out loud. Those are two of my favorite readers and they do readings where they're like, they put out three cards and they describe three different storylines for people who are single, people who are attached. And I know that it can be hard to sit through, but I appreciate it anyway, because it's hard to do multiple storylines at once. But anyway. We do have the happiest card in the deck. So whatever outcome you're hoping for, whether it's a new person, whether it's the old person, spirit's saying, yes, this person is coming back or this person that you've been manifesting, this new person is coming because you've broken a cycle, however that resonates to you. This also does represent divine masculine. So for some of you who resonate with twin flames, this could be your divine masculine, you know, finally coming back, you guys finally moving forward. Ten of Cups, Four of Wands, Twin Flames, Eleven Eleven. Take it as it resonates. So yeah, let's read. Let's read Change first. Change. Twelve, which is the reduces to three, which is Empress Energy. This card is letting you know it's all right to change directions. It's okay to change your mind. So for example. If you thought you had a future with this King of Wands and you want to change your mind, ask for a soulmate, Spirit's delivering. If you maybe moved on from this past person who you were stuck in a cycle with and you swore you would never go back, never again. If you're a twin flame, you know, you know that anytime there's a tower moment or a no contact situation or a disconnect, you're like, I cannot believe I'm here again. <laughs> you know, and you swear, this is it. This is the last time. <laughs> I know some of you resonate with that. It's okay to change your mind and give it another go. But anyway, it's okay to change your mind. You do not need to be consistent at every term. turn. This is the time to put traditions and expectations of others aside. Instead, you are called to create your own tradition. You are free to express yourself and let your spirits fly. Dragonflies are acrobats of the sky. Not only can they fly backward, they fly upside down and turn 36 degrees, 360 degrees, <laughs> all while looking as graceful as they do. Dragon spirit urges you to take on her same fearless daring, her same fearless daring. Go beyond predictable behavior. Just because something has always been done a certain way doesn't mean that it needs to continue to be done that way. While you can't control the exact circumstances of your life, you can control what meaning you give to them. Select meanings that empower you, for this is the time to be carefree, wild, and unpredictable. Dragonflies are ancient, taking to the skies 300 to 350 million years ago. They have adapted through millennia and thus survived when many creatures have not. These masters of change are a reminder that change will heal you. Beautiful. There's so much about change in this reading. Be willing to change your perspective and good fortune will follow. Sometimes you need to back up in order to go forward. 
As people get older, they find it harder to change. So to activate youthfulness, be willing to make changes without hesitation. Beautiful. Now, for the round and round in reverse. That is 25, which reduces to seven, which is the number of the chariot. That's what I mean. There's There's been a change, that cycle's been broken, and now there's going to be forward movement in your life. That's near future. Like I said, we're kind of going down the line. Are you refusing to see your own personal responsibility for repeating lessons you don't need to relearn? You have to surrender now to the fact that you are the common denominator in all of these repeat performances. Be happy for this is a wonderful spot to be in. You can now see the cycles that you wish to exit. Once you figure out that you have the power to stop going round and round, you possess the key to your freedom. Be good to yourself. It's not about blame but about accountability. You can have the abundant life filled with love and prosperity that spirit wants for you. Oh my gosh. Listen to this guys. Remember when I was just talking about how did I get here again? Relationship message for this card. Are you wondering how did I get here again? <laughs> oh my gosh. Does something feel familiar right now in your dynamics with others? Maybe a little too familiar. Don't be surprised that you found yourself repeating an old story with the same sort of person who may not look similar, but who you attracted because you're easy acquaintance with his or her qualities. Your relationship is a mix of what is good and what is potentially challenging. You have been drawn to this person through the perfection of spirit's plan for your evolution. You may have circled back to an accustomed spot, a familiar place, a certain, certain someone, but that's fine as you get to do things again, only differently this time, for you learned something of great value since the last time around. How will you choose to behave now that you're aware? Remain curious and stay out of the blame game. Oh my gosh, the blame game sucks. If you figure out how to stay out of the blame game, can you tell me? <laughs> I'm serious. I'm not even lying. And I'll read you four. I mean, I get more intuitive messages from four than the, the description in the book. Um, I find the description in the book lacking for this card. Um, because to me, this does represent, I see four of wands. We see it's four. So we also see these four people standing together, four of wands. Um, this can re represent ten of ten of cups, emotional fulfillment. Music could be very important in your connection with your person, if you're resonating with that message, or the new person that comes in. Um, to me, this also symbolizes the light of the the end of the tunnel. You know the expression. I suck at expressions. Um, the pot pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. That's kind of what it feels like. And rainbows are about transformations and miracles and seeing the abundance of your hard work. So that's, you know, to me, that's a very symbolic message here. The book says, oh my gosh, it's on page 11. <laughs> and I said this was the 1111 card. The rainbow over this happy family portrays a time of joy and celebration. Close connections are available, so don't overlook the fun and frivolity blah, 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 <laughs> that a friend or family experience can bring. The value that you find in a truly loving relative, oh my gosh, in a truly loving relative or friend brings a higher vibration to your life force. You may be distracted or busy, but remember, put this part of your life on the forefront of your priorities. If you're single, finding this card in your spread could indicate a potential meeting and perhaps a relationship with someone who has children from a previous marriage. This ready-made family might bring some challenges, but it could be your destiny in this lifetime. This card may also signify a celebration coming up, such as a wedding, anniversary, or birthday party. Enjoy. 
I also want to say it could represent union because we have four of wands energy. So union, marriage, celebration, you know, anyway. I wanted to read that illumination card. Um, that is one of my newer, one of my newer Oracle decks. So I, I do like to read out of the book for this one. I'm going to read you the whole thing. <laughs> As the sun rises over the far mountains, mists begin to swirl upward. Here, I'll give you a show of it. Illuminated by the golden radi radiant rays of morning light, in many traditions, mist symbolizes what is called the mystic veil, which represents an entrance point into unseen realms. In ancient and native cultures, mists are associated with mystical and magical inner dimensions. Mist in the mountains represents higher states of consciousness. That's amazing. I did not know that. That's amazing. The upward spiraling mists rising in the mountains suggests that those in the realm of spirit, your spirit protectors, ancestors, and guardians are close at hand, assisting you on your upward journey of illumination. They are protecting you and supporting you. Your spiritual life is expanding by leaps and bounds, even if you can't see what's ahead. That's, you have so much in your reading about not being able to see, but that it's coming. That's interesting. Changes happening beneath the surface. If you draw this card, trust your heart and what you feel more than what you see and what you think. Trust your heart, not your mind. And you will be guided in a wondrous direction. Amazing. It's on page 44. Amazing. Beautiful. So pile three. I really hope some of that resonated. I never know. I really never know what some of the messages I get, but I hope some of that resonated. I hope it brought you comfort. I hope maybe it's what you needed to hear today. This is a timeless message. So whenever you found it, it was meant for you. I just saw 3003 on the timer for those of my twin flamies out there. You know what? While I'm here, I'm going to look up what that means. I'm going to look up what that means. I've been having a bit of a time on my vacation, you guys. Um, my pile three is my soul family. I'm gonna I'm gonna be real with you. I'm visiting my counterpart. My counterpart gave me the zebra yesterday. Anyway, um, just true counterparts. We we went through a cycle. If you're my pile three, so you probably know this. I talked about how last year I went through a crazy tower moment with my person when I was away, and that I booked a flight home, I hightailed it out of there. Guess what? Something similar happened this time. Guess what? My, immediately th my immediate thought, hightail it out of there, run away, get away from that situation. I didn't do that. I took my time, I listened to my intuition, and I started, I started seeing numbers, mirrored numbers a lot, and I would look them up and the way they've guided me is insane, you guys. So I am going to look up. That's why I'm looking up this number for you. I'm really slow to get to my point. <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, I have two messages. I'll do the first one first. For my twin flames, remember I looked up and I saw 3003 and I said, I'm going to, well, you were here. Um, angel number 3003 is a powerful message for twin flames. If you and your twin flame keep seeing this number, it is a clear sign that your union is close. The number three represents the Holy Trinity and its appearance in this number indicates that you and your twin flame union is divinely guided. What? That's amazing. Tell me that's not amazing. And now, for those of you who don't resonate with twin flames, 
The angel number 3003 is a clear sign from the universe that you are on the right path. The angels are encouraging you to trust your intuition and to continue following your dreams. They are reminding you that you are a powerful creator and you can manifest your dreams into reality. <laughs> I get way too excited. Anyway, pile three, 3003, that is your reading. So I hope some of that resonated and as always, I am sending you guys lots of love and light. And guess what? I'll be back tomorrow with another reading. <laughs> because I have a block of time tomorrow and I'm, well, this is what I want to do. So that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, I hope this finds you well, my pile threes. Hello to those of you who are always in my pile three. And, you know, I'm sending you and your person lots of love and light. I hope this resonated. As I'm approaching the end of this reading, we're hitting the three, 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 three just came up. Amazing. So anyway, very cool. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for the tips too. And uh, watching my ads, that really does help me and has allowed me to live my dream. <laughs> so thank you. And yeah, lots of love and light. Bye.